I think for Singapore, um, mainly it's because of better healthcare facilities and also in terms of treatment and diagnosis is um, very fast and rapid. That's, that, may, that may be the main reason why the, there's decline in the TB disease. Just got my 20 year service award. I work in Central TB Laboratory as a senior medical technologist. Uh, I, does, I do quite a variety of uh, work. I handle the operational level of the uh, daily, daily running of the lab, ensuring that there, there's minimum downtime. And also I do uh, lab testing and also lab validation assays, as well as uh, handling safety matters. Yeah, it's about more than 100 on a daily basis. I find the TB lab work is very interesting. It's a very specialized field and up to date to the new technologies that is always coming is a challenge because in terms of specialization, not many disciplines is, is this, I mean, in this kind. Knowing about this track is very important. The, the rapid uh, information that is given, you know, be aware of what is surrounding Singapore, what are the threats that may be, those infectious disease threats that may be surrounding our, our country, our neighbouring country, and also having the right tools and the treatment uh, to be available when the threat comes to Singapore. That is very important because Singapore is a small country. So just one, uh, you know, virus that is unknown or, you know, that comes to Singapore, is, it can be very devastating. I've been working in TB lab for quite a long time. So, to me, TB is an infectious disease, but that is not, not the only one, one disease. There are many other, like, virus and all that, so it's, it's also very highly infectious. So, we need to know I mean, all these information, so as to be able to deal with this infectious disease when they, if they come to Singapore.